Okay, so one of the things on Instagram that was not uh, intuitive for me when I started using it is called stories, right? You see at the top of the screen, there's these circles. These circles are people that I've interacted with on Instagram. Maybe either I've commented on their things or liked their post recently, or we, uh, you know, we have exchanged some direct messages. And you can see Sean is one of them, of course. And um, so those are the circles at the top of the screen. And obviously on Instagram, you can scroll and see posts, right? But then at the very top are the circles, uh, colorful circles around people's profile photos, and those are stories. So um, you can create your own story. We'll talk about, and Sean's gonna talk a lot more about that in his uh, session. He's so good at creating stories. I'm gonna talk about viewing stories and what's confusing to me about it. So to view a story, you click on the person's face with a colorful photo. You can also scroll through and see other people who have made stories recently that, that you can click on. So uh, I'm going to click on Sean here. All right, there you go. So Sean just made a story about our, our session, uh, our teaching session together. And notice what I just did. I just tapped, I should show you my phone here. I just tapped my phone to pause the story because otherwise if I don't tap it, it just goes, it just keeps going. And then it shows me the, the, the next several stories that are suggested for me. So the, the progress bar at the top goes really fast. Okay, notice the progress bar at the top, right? Goes really fast. Let me, let me show you one more time here. Progress bar at the top, the white bar at the top, it just goes the timer for when the story is ending. And to basically scroll back, you swipe left to go back to the previous person's stories you're looking at. Um, I'm, I'm, I can't scroll to the left here, or I can't swipe to the left here because this is the first story I'm looking at during the session, but I can tap on the left side of the screen to go to Sean's previous story. You see now I'm the second, it's on the second white bar at the very top of the screen. I could tap left again to go to Sean's previous, oh, whoops, let me do that again. Whoops, Sean's previous story, tap left, tap left. Now this was Sean's first story of the last 24 hours. Is that right, Sean? Last 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, and, and stories just last 24 hours. They're a, an ephemeral way of connecting with your audience. Thank you, I forgot Whereas to say posts, that. Posts last and reels, forever. Stay on last forever. Stories are just like, this is what I had for breakfast, or here's the thing that I'm launching, or like, you know, a yeah. post a photo of something that that I think is interesting, but probably not, you know, uh, worthy of a, a post that stays forever. And that's why there's a sense of urgency that fans have when they're like, oh, someone has Sean has a story. I better look at it before it expires in 24 hours. Right. So that's the they built that urgency into the stories, whether you hate her or not, that's up to you. But but it does get people to watch and, and you're particularly your true fans, people who like want to keep up with your journey and your message or whatever. They, they tend to look at the stories more. So you could make it make video stories. You can make image stories like this with words on top and with a link. Notice that there's a link there. If I, again, if I tap, whoops, let me go back and tap the left side of the screen, go back to the previous or the previous story from that same person, tap the right side of the screen to continue to the next story from that same person. So notice there's a link there to click on the link. You click on it. And then the story pauses, but you haven't gone to the link yet until you click once more on visit link. And that will go to that will go to the link. Sometimes it says leaving Instagram. You click follow link and that'll bring you to the link itself. Um, Sean, anything else you want to say about consuming stories? Yeah. So the thing that's kind of annoying with stories is sometimes you'll see something in, in someone's story and then you'll kind of go past it. You'll start looking at other people's stories and you'll go, oh. Sean was talking about this sweater that he loves, but I forget what the brand was. And so before the story expires, you could still go to my account and look at my stories, but you'd have to manually get there. So show them how you manually get to an yes, account. Okay. See so where the stories are. Right, right, right. So now I'm here on Sean's profile. And, and it's not obvious, but if you click on my face up top. That's right. Yeah. So like, it's not obvious because if, because I've already seen Sean's stories of the last 24 hours. So there's no more colorful circle around his face. There's a gray circle. You'll notice very faint gray circle around his face that shows me that I have seen some of his stories recently, but they're, they're still there. So if I click on Sean's face, now I can see the stories that I've already seen again. Yeah. Um, and and the other, once 24, once 24 hours is gone, those stories are gone unless I've added them to a highlight. Yeah, so the highlight, let's go to Sean's profile. The highlights are on the profile uh, above the grid. The grid is the posts that you know people are used to seeing on Instagram. That's called the grid. The, prof, uh, the highlights are the things above the grid, those circles there. Sean, are you going to, uh, I can, I, one, one of I'll us. I'll talk about highlights. People. Okay, Sean, we'll talk about highlights. 
Um, but yeah, highlights are cool because, well, you can see this IG course. <laughs> okay. So highlights are basically older stories that Sean has, well, highlighted on this profile that you can still see those stories and, and not just see those stories, but click on those links are still available. And he also mentioned me. So I, you can go to my profile there because of that tag. Um, so last thing I'll say about stories is um, you can interact with the creator by clicking a heart on the story um, and you, or you can send a message to the creator right there, a direct personal message about the story. And um, Sean, do you like getting direct messages about from people's commenting? <laughs> I do because it gives me, I'll, I'll go into a lot more detail about this because it's part of my whole workflow strategy, but it gives me an idea of, of, are people connecting with the story that yeah. I made? And so okay. I get to, let's say I make 10 stories about 10 different topics based on the DMs that I reply or I get or the reactions that I receive. Because you'll see if you tap that send message, you can, you can just... leave a reaction, not necessarily a message, right? All the emojis at the top there. Yeah. Right. Right. And so I could see the reactions based uh, from different stories and right. I could tell, oh, people really love this story. Maybe I should make a reel about this. And Sean, you will show um, how you look at your react, how, how to look at those reactions. And the whole, like that. the whole workflow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really cool. Um, okay. I think that's all we want to say about stories. Anything else, Sean? No, Not for, for now we're good. Yeah. So hopefully this is helpful folks. Um, comment below if you have any other tips about consuming stories or interacting with stories below. Thanks.